What's going on guys, it's your boy the GCC. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five Clone Wars vehicles that LEGO needs to make. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into our first set. All right guys, the first set that we're gonna be talking about today is the 501st Legion ATTE Walker. I really love this set. It looks like you get a bunch of great minifigures, of course, being that phase two Captain Rex. I know we are getting him in the $650 Venator releasing on October 1st, but like $650, not a lot of people can afford that i mean that is a crazy amount of money so it'd be awesome to get phase two captain rex in it like a 140 dollar set or something like that it looks like you would get some more 501st clones that we have seen in the past and it looks like you would also get a clone uh gunner which we saw in the 2022 attte but like we could obviously take the 501st out of this so just think about you know the normal attte we got back in 2022 and like slap some wolf pack troopers in it or something like that or anything or maybe like the 327th uh sky Corps. I'm pretty sure that's the correct unit uh, with Commander Bly, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, or something like that, or some Clone Legion that we've never seen before or we haven't seen in a while, such as like those Kashyyyk Troopers. That'd be really cool. I mean, you could turn this into a green ATTE, which would be awesome. I mean, personally, I love the 2022 ATTE. I mean, I just think it's one of the best ATTEs they've ever done. I just love the size of it and the details on it. It's just great, other than those uh, bad prints of the 212th Clone Troopers. But anyway, that's not the point. But like, they could easily just kind of like recolor the ATTE. They could just give us some different clone troopers which would be awesome and this would be like an ideal set you know like you could just continue just giving out ATTEs like you know every two or three years with a different clone legion or something like that that would be awesome maybe even throw a crab droid in here you know just for fun because we've never gotten that crab droid I think that would be awesome and to be a great way to get some of those clone troopers that we've never seen before but like specifically talking about this set though I mean it'd be a great way to get phase two captain rex any cheaper set as I said I definitely could see this set going for $140 that's what the 2022 set one for and i definitely think this is an awesome idea and i'm hoping lego redoes the attte but maybe in like a wolf pack color scheme or a kashyyyk color scheme or something like that but anyway let's move on to our next set all right guys the next set that we're going to be talking about today is a 501st y-wing of course i had to throw this in here i know i've talked about the 501st y-wing in a bunch of past videos but like i still think we need this set like to get another phase two captain rex in a cheaper set would be great like a 650 dollars set like not a lot of people can afford that so like to get them in like a nice like 70 or 80 dollar set would be awesome it also looks like you would get some 332 second clone troopers we just had them uh release on august 1st and back in 2020 so like you know they're kind of like pretty common nowadays so it's like you know not too many people will be excited about that and same with that season seven ahsoka tana we've gotten her in a bunch of sets before it looks like you would also get r7 i want to say ahsoka's uh astromech droid but like i could be wrong about the numbers but like i think this would be awesome though as i said i think 70 or 80 dollars would be plenty maybe max 100 to get you know a pretty decent sized ship it looks like you would have some cockpit space of course one for your gunner and then one for the pilot and then of course for that astromech droid as well i'm assuming you would also have some stud shooters and some spring-loaded missiles maybe even some landing gear which would be pretty cool like i just love this like we haven't gotten a y-wing in so long like a republic y-wing like i know we've gotten like resistance and uh rebel alliance y-wings uh you know in the past but like i'm talking like a specific republic y-wing and it's like yellow color skin we haven't gotten since like i want to say like 2007 2008 or something like that but like a 501st y-wing would be so cool of course it was shown in tales of the jedi and uh clone wars season seven so that's really cool oh and the bad batch which is awesome so they definitely should make this and be a great way to get some of this awesome some minifigures now let's move on to the next set all right guys you know what time it is it is meme set time and today we have mace windu's hand and lightsaber collectible minifigure this is absolutely hilarious i definitely think lego needs to do this either for the may 4th promo or just throw it in some random meme set of course we would get mace windu's purple lightsaber which is awesome and then of course you can see his hand attached to that that would be so funny to have look at mace windu right there i mean that's such a sad scene like i felt so bad for him when his hand just got chopped and they got electrocuted and then thrown out a window like i really hope he survived that you know like i've heard like a bunch of different like theories and rumors out there and stuff like that like that he survived but like i would just love to see him make an appearance in the show i don't know how you guys would feel about uh mace windu returning to the big screen but um i think that'd be pretty cool but anyway though this lightsaber in hand would be awesome it would make a perfect 
poly bag and I definitely think Lego should do this at some time in the future but now let's move on to our next set all right guys the next set that we're going to be talking about today is the battle over Coruscant obviously the last time this was made I think was in 2005 so it's definitely been a long time and of course we just got Anakin's interceptor I think in 2019 or 2020 but it would be so cool to get all three of these ships in one set I really like the minifigure selection obviously you would get a Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker Obi-Wan Kenobi Chancellor Palpatine R2D2 and now I think Obi-Wan Kenobi's astromech droid. I do not know the correct numbers of the droid, but um, I definitely could see this set going for around $60 or $70, just depending on how big these ships are. I really love the Vulture droid. We haven't had a Vulture droid in some time now, and same with Obi-Wan's Interceptor. I think the last time we got that was, I think, in 2015 or 2016, so it's definitely been a while since we've had his ship, but I just think it's a pretty nice set that we haven't had in a while, and honestly, just recreate that ultimate space battle from 2005 i think that would be so cool now let's move on to our next set all right lads the final set that we're going to be talking about today is the battle over kato nemoidia i'm sorry if i mispronounced that um but this set is awesome of course um this is featured prominently in the order 6016 in revenge of the sith but also in the clone wars tv show um i really love that planet i just think it looks beautiful um i definitely love this set though um of course it looks like you would get uh five solid minifigures of course being an updated plo I feel like we haven't had a Plo Koon since like 2013 or 2014. It's definitely been a while since we've had him. Captain Jag, I think it would be so cool to get another named clone. Captain Jag is the one who shot Plo Koon down in Order 66. It looks like you would also get another clone pilot, a Phase 2 Wolfpack Trooper, and then of course um, a Astromech Droid. I'm assuming Plo Koon's Astromech Droid. It'd be an awesome way to get those Phase 2 Wolfpack Troopers. I really love them. We haven't seen them for a long time now, and I think it'd be a great way um, to really army build those troopers. The ARC 170 itself looks pretty decent. Of course, you would have your cockpit space for your troopers, and of course, you would probably have some flick fire missiles or some stud shooters or something like that. But it'd be a great way to get another ARC 170 because I feel like the last one we had was in like 2008 or 2009. It's definitely been a while since we've had that. And of course, Plo Koon's um, Starfighter looks good as well. Um, of course, we just had Obi Wan Kenobi's Starfighter in 2022, so I'm assuming it would kind of be similar to Obi Wan's, uh, just recolored, obviously, and with, and with a different astromech droid. But I really like the design of it, of course, with his classic uh, blue and white color scheme. But I really love this set. I definitely can see this set going for a nice like $70 or $80 because I would love um, to see that ARC-170 to be pretty decent size. Obviously not too big, um, but pretty decent to make your money worth it. But I love this set. I think it'd be a great way to get some of those awesome minifigures we talked about. Congratulations, guys. You have made it to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a fun time putting it together. And I definitely think LEGO needs to make some of these awesome Clone Wars vehicles. Shout out to Brick Wizard 59 Azotic Productions, and Star Wars Photoshop for making these awesome sets. I'll put a link to their Instagrams down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed today's video or you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You would help out the channel big time. And honestly, you would make my day. Also, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Again, I'd really appreciate it. You would help out the video big time. I know I say that a lot, guys, but it really would mean a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.